update. All quiet on the Raptors front right now. The NBA trade deadline hits at 3 p.m. Raptors back in action in Atlanta tomorrow. Some of the rumored moves the Phoenix Suns are expected to trade one of their point guards, Goran Dragic, and Minnesota said to be in the mix to bring back Kevin Garnett for a swan song. NHL last night, a scary moment for the Montreal Canadiens. Former Norris winner P.K. Subban blocks a shot. He limped off and looked very labored in the third period. Montreal falls to Ottawa 4-2. Mark Stone leads the way with three points for the Sens. Another win for the Edmonton Oilers. They're just seven points back of the Toronto Maple Leafs in the standings after a 4-3 shootout win over the Boston Bruins. Martin Marinson, the shootout winner in the 12th round. Toronto back in action tomorrow when they visit Carolina. Elsewhere, the LA Kings, a 4-1 win over Tampa. Two points, including goal number 19 for Tyler DeFoley. Minnesota picks up a big win over the Calgary Flames. Back on the wild through center. Scandella to Charlie Coyle. Here's Coyle. Makes the move. Swings one. Scores! Three to the final. Nico Koivu wins at Wilder 9-1-1 one one in their last 11. Detroit 3-2 over Chicago in a shootout. And NFL News wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald agrees to a two-year deal that keeps him with Arizona. He's been with the Cards since 2004. You're listening to the home of Leafs Nation, Sportsnet 590 The Fan. Sportsnet tonight. Tonight at 8. And we're talking about Brady and Walker. On Sportsnet 590, the fan. It's Brady and Walker 643 on your Thursday. So, have you watched, uh, have you watched the, like, no, you're angry at you are such an SNL guy, and you've been talking about this 40th anniversary thing. Now it's Thursday. I am a busy human with busy things to do, and I have not had, I have to commit, you know, 140, 150 minutes of this. It's a 210 minute show. And even flat, flat sporting through some stuff. I'm going to have to, I, I was even on Norm McDonald's Twitter feed last night where he's talking about all the background stuff and how Eddie Murphy was going to play Bill Cosby in this sketch, and then Murphy pulled out of the last minute. You know, I guess uh, you're speaking of the series of the 40th anniversary of Sarah, like yesterday. I uh, rewatched uh, Bonus Hour's performance uh, as she performed a uh, new song. I was just like, wow. Just blown away. So I'm dying to see it. You, I know, you, I, I'm you not going to watch it. You've been watching it, watch it in an hour. Because you can, you'll, you'll, yes, because you're going to fast forward. So I don't want to see Kanye West or Taylor Yes, Swift. you're going to fast forward through the musical act. Good point. Yeah, and, and there will be some stuff. Like I took to me yesterday because I was like, listen, I know they're comedic legends, but I don't find Dan Aykroyd and Steve Martin funny. And that's okay. That's okay. My that's dad okay. does. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, my dad, if I explain to my dad that uh, uh, the, the Honeymooners isn't still funny or, uh, or I Love Lucy, sure. He's never, I'm, I'm, I'm so embarrassed to say my dad's never watched Seinfeld. Like, never. He knows who he is. Yeah, that's embarrassing. But he's never he was out there for 30 minutes. Your dad, your dad, dad right? Well, he should be a smarter person than that. He's just not into sitcoms. So, uh, coming up. So, you haven't watched it yet. So, maybe you, have, you don't have the full effect of this. But, uh, at the after party was, um, it, it, stories are going to come up about how great this after party was. Everybody was, anybody was there. And the Jay-Z was there. And he made a, a classic, uh, a... I don't want to even say doppelganger. He made a classic misstep when it comes to a couple of starting pitchers without the details. Yeah. So uh, last night, Coach Bay was at a hockey in the Montreal Canadiens ball. 4 2 to the Ottawa Senators. It's one of those moments, and we've had it before, when a quarterback is slow to get up or. Uh, an NBA player is, is laying on the floor and you don't know if he's if he has a cramp or if his leg is busted. P.K. Subban blocks his shot with his foot. And it hurts. We know it hurts, but you don't know if he's okay. So he hobbles off. He comes back and plays in the third. It's one of those things where you know he, he's going to take the skate off and his, and his foot's going to look like, you know, Melissa McCarthy's foot. And, uh, <laughs> and he <laughs> threw it. Here, now they called up uh, 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 the miners. Uh, they say uh, Subban uh, would be like day to day. Major. But you never know. Like, like, you like, break a foot, you break an ankle. You like, uh, uh, I'm that done. does it until playoffs. But yeah, not. there isn't the suddenness of, uh, uh, say, the knee injury that the team staff goes last year. They have that knee injury where it's like, Actually, oh. we, you were the, the one guy, because Eric Francis and I were on the next morning, uh, we had Eric on, you and I uh, tried to gang up and you and say, that's it, lightning season, 
over Kaboyd finish. And, uh, and, and now we assume Stamkos wasn't going to play again. But the team didn't suffer that dramatically without him. Shockingly, they hung around. All of the young players. And if anything, if anything, their Ben Bishop injury was more costly to yes. their playoff existence by the by the putting the tire fires in net uh, that they ended up having to, you know, Hunter's Lindback and company. With Subban, though, it's a different story. We don't know, since BK Subban's become really a pro and coming up from, you know, he played his 19-year-old year in Hamilton, um, or his 20-year-old year in Hamilton, so he's pretty much coming up to the Canadians at 21. He's hardly missed any games. He missed six in the short 48-game season. Played every game last year, played every game but one year before that. He's just such a fixture. He eats so many minutes. We're past, I think, the controversy of, hey, will Michelle Terry and play him in the last minute? Will Michelle oh, Terry yeah, play yeah. him four on four? Of course, we're past all that. He's one of friggin' Norris. But, we're over that. But I think you're, now, we haven't heard bad news, terrible news. Um, it's very possible he doesn't play tonight. They have to play tonight at home against Montreal. But what are, what are the Montreal Canadiens, who have the second best record in all of hockey? What are they slash would they be? without a P.K. Subban. Is it the same as taking Shane Weber off of, of Nashville? Is it the same as, you know, lifting John Tavares from, from the Islanders, which did happen also last year? Well, we have this we have this debate when it comes to the Hart Trophy, right? And, and who's the best player and who's the player most valuable to their team? Now, you got to take goalies out of this equation because nothing can derail your season or ruin a playoff round like you just mentioned. The Ben Bishop injury was more pivotal to the Tampa Bay Lightning than Steven Stamkos. Now, who, who would rather have Bishop on the team than Stamkos? Nobody. So taking goalies aside for a second, and it doesn't mean that Stamkos, the fact that Tampa lit it up even when he was young, doesn't no, mean no, 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 no. to the team. He's a 50-goal he's a guy. But, yes, yeah, some players are, are just going to be more valuable. And, and I was, last night, I was really wondering about Subban. Because when a player goes down,